Hello, we're in England doing another painting. This one is by Bernard Dufour. Bernard Dufour. It is a French, he is a French artist who lived for much of the 20th century and he has a distinctive style of painting. He draws the shape and I think he uses a pen or a brush. It's most likely he's using a pen. He, use, he uses quite a viscous brown inky paint and he starts by doing this outline. Uh, in this picture, you'll notice there's not a lot of sky. The top of the bell tower, the campanile, goes to the top of the canvas. So he's painting the outline. He's then going over it and filling in the, the spaces. And I think it's an oil paint or, or similar paint, not a watercolour, but he's painting it like it's a watercolour in a way. Um, and the effect is, is pleasing and distinctive. And the, the thing is, the word distinctive is important. When you see his paintings, you, you, you know, he's consistently painting in this manner. It's quite a fast, rapid way of painting. And the effect is casual and informal and, and, and happy. So the town, I found the town. The town is Kadak, C-A-D-A-Q-U-E-S. It's northern, northern, northeastern Spanish. It's on the Spanish side of the border south of Perpignan. It's the next town down from the town Salvador, Salvador Dali lived in. It's, it's, it's a few miles from, from that, that town. Um, and the town is beautiful. I've been there myself. There's a, there's a bay with clipped trees. There are little buildings facing the Esplanade um, with, with restaurants. There's a town hall, there's a church. There's, there's a little bay. This is the little bay. It's a pebbly beach. You have the hills behind with pines on. It's absolutely incredible, Kadax. And the reason it survived is because the, the journey to Kadax is over a over brow of a, of a hill. And it's a real pain in the neck to get to and park in. And a real pain in the neck to get out of. And um, the nearest big town on the Spanish time is Figueres. F-I-G-U-E-R-E-S, I think it is. So, very nice little place. And this Frenchman has gone down to paint these these buildings now Spanish, obviously whitewashed houses, shallow pitched roofs, clay pan tiles, and this church. And this is exactly what it looks like in, in real life if you stand in that place. It's not a made-up picture, cobbling together elements of design. It is a depiction of that bay, and um, it's quite a small picture, but it's, as I say, it's beautiful. The frame is a, is a modern frame. I guess this is 1975, 1980, possibly a bit earlier. It's a silver. A silver leaf effect moulded wooden frame. The frame is timber, not MDF. It is stapled together. It has never been hung, I've noticed there's no hooks in it. It stood on the mantelpiece or something like that, or in a shop even. I like the frame. Um, I think that the mouldings are possibly carved by hand. It might be carved by machine, it might just be pressed in, not sure, but it's a, it's a nice frame. Beautiful picture with the texture, and it's of that place in northern Spain. Thanks for looking.